104.1 KRBE. We are backstage at ACL with Camila Cabello. How are you? I'm hot. Yeah, Texas. It's hot. It's hot out there. And you just finished your set. Yes. How, how do you think it went? I think it went great. I mean, I did my best. I feel like <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's tricky in festivals because you never know what the crowd is going to be like. Right. And it's like the people in between, like Travis Scott went on after me, and I have a very different set than Travis Scott. <laughs> a little bit, just a little. <laughs> I'm like, guys, <laughs> love yourselves. Travis Scott's like, yeah. yeah, lit. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. I have like one song like that. Yeah. So, um, I just try to like, I mean, it was all kind of kids my age. So I just try to kind of talk and be myself and, you know, just kind of talk as if I was talking to one person, except there's, I don't know how many people out there. It was like a, a sea a lot, of people. A lot of people. It was crazy. But I mean, it was it was really fun. The, and also what I like about festivals is it's, it's a very picturesque image. Yeah. You like get to see the sun go down. Right. But honestly, I, I was I was pretty terrified before I went on. Not going to lie. Can, before we talk about your music, and I want to talk about that, I want to talk about your album, I want to talk about consequences. Yeah. Um, social media wise, on Instagram, I don't know if you know this because I think your mom handles your social media. Is well, that correct? I don't know. I mean, she has. She doesn't handle my social media. I just don't have social media on my phone. I have to Smart. have it on her phone yeah. to go on it because I'm not like. I just don't. I'm not a big fan of social media. Like I'm, I'm a fan of it in terms of, I love connecting with my fans. But it's like, right. You go on there, you get sucked into the social media wormhole. <laughs> yeah. You see things that you don't want to see. You get your feelings hurt, and it takes me like four days to recover. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I have, you know, you have to be careful with right. what you feed your brain. And so, um, she has it. She has. Inst- I don't have any Instagram or Twitter on my phone. She has it on her phone. But I, I post stuff. I just don't have it on me all Perfect. the time well i do want to let you know that that question you follow me on instagram oh, so sick. i just want to know like awesome. you you only follow like 400 people yeah so i feel very privileged <laughs> that, like i don't know why you follow me but you do and i <laughs> like i it's it's an inside joke with uh my program director and the radio yes. station like every interview that we do like in studio i'm like yeah. camille cabello follows me on instagram but you don't post I brag a lot about do you it. I don't know. I have a dog. I don't I po- feel like I've ever seen like your face on social on Instagram. I post like on my dog. Nice. I mean, so yeah. I like it. So uh, content. <laughs> I need to post pic- most pic- more pictures of my dog. Let's my dog st- fractured his leg. Oh no! Fun fact, but he's okay now. Good. Yeah. Anyway, it makes me sad. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the album, Camilo. Uh, Camila. Uh, so when you took you took this leap of faith of like going solo, did you know that this was going to be so successful for you? No, I mean, I didn't really think about that because I feel like it was, it happened so quickly that I just, I had this kind of urgency to just make the best music that I could possibly make. And I was just like, if it doesn't work out, and I'm, I kind of have the same attitude now. I feel like you always have to have that attitude because there's always like, once you reach a, reach a certain amount level of success, there's always like a fear there's always like there's always going to be somebody more successful than you there's always going to be like what if i fail this you are always going to have that so i feel like it's important the mindset that you go in with and i feel like i have the same mindset now which is just like all i can do is just work as hard as i can to make music and make things that i'm proud of and then if people like it great and if they don't then i try my best you know and they do they love it Thank God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Consequences, you're about to drop that single. And yeah. I feel like it's the perfect time too, because we're getting like the, the winter months. And I feel like that song, it's like a very like emotional song, like a like it's very a winter vibe. Like do you get that same with consequences? Thank you. Or am I Well, you know what? I wanted to put I wanted to make that song a single like two or three months ago. And I decided to to wait until the fall and winter because that's when everybody gets the most emo but not me i'm emo year round everybody but um yeah i'm super excited for it i mean i feel like i mean i was just talking about this but i feel like with every single that i put out i always want to i don't want to kind of set myself up to compete with things that already sound like it on the radio yeah and i feel like with havana and, and never be the same like Everybody was just kind of like, why would you pick that as a single? It sounds nothing like, w- or whatever. And, you know, I feel like no matter what happens with the song, I'm super proud of it because I feel like I'm kind of, I'm showing a really prominent side of myself, which is I love, love songs. And I, I, I love, like, that's a big part of who I am is that kind of like songwriter yeah. vibe. And um, also I, I just miss songs that really make you feel when they come on the radio. Yeah. And, so, you know, I'm super excited about it. I just made a music video for it, which is 
definitely m- the proudest I am of ever making a music video. So, yeah, no matter what happens, I love it. I'm really proud of it. Well, I think your fans can tell you are off to an amazing start, and I think we have nothing but the best for you. I think you're going, you're you're trending up, and you're you're Thanks. doing very well. And Thank you so much. I think everybody's proud of you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Is your dog proud of me? Bear, yes. Good. Hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. <laughs> Camila Cabello. Uh, it's K R B E. Thanks, guys.